हेलो डे स्टूडेंट्स एंड डी शंकर कोटी की फ्रॉम गुरु बसव एजुकेशन इंस्टीट्यूट चेवड़ी हाल सो इन माय प्रीवियस क्लासेस वी हैव स्टडीड ऑलरेडी सो पॉलीनोमियल डेफिनेशन लीनियर क्वाड्रेटिक एंड क्यूबिक पॉलीनोमियल डेफिनेशन एंड जीरो द पॉलीनोमियल एंड आल्सो सॉल्व द द फर्स्ट एक्सरसाइज इन पॉलीनोमियल चैप्टर्स सो इन दिस क्लास वी विल स्टडी द द रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन राइट द रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन जीरो द पॉलीनोमियल एंड coefficients of polynomial so in this class we will study the zero the relationship between zero the polynomial and coefficient of a polynomial right zero the polynomial means we all know the definition zero the polynomial is so recall once again if k is a real number is said to be zero of a polynomial p of x if p of k equal to zero k is a Set k is any real number is said to be zero of polynomial p of x if p of k equal to zero. This is called zero of polynomial concept or definition, right? And coefficient of polynomial means it is depend upon the polynomial. In a quadratic polynomial, coefficients are this is a quadratic polynomial a x square plus b x plus c. The coefficients are a, b, and c. So in cubic polynomial, there are a, b, c, and d, right? So what is the relationship between zeros of polynomial and coefficients of polynomial? Right? We class are learning today only zeros of polynomial and the coefficient of polynomial relationship between a and b model. Right? The zeros of polynomial and the x value equal to to a number and the real number to another corresponding value of polynomial equal to zero by the time. One tandra I x value we are telling only zeros of polynomial means x equal to the real number is there today. मत ए बी सी जीरोनोम P of x equal to a x square plus b x plus c. Here a is not equal to zero. Then we know that right x minus alpha and x minus beta are roots of polynomial. Right, right. X minus alpha and x minus beta are the factors of a polynomial. Right, two factors x minus alpha and x minus beta are the factors of polynomial P of x. Right. Then a x square plus b x plus c equal to So k is so k means here any constant term, right? K is any scalar quantity, constant term. X minus alpha into x minus theta. So keep k as it is. So let us term as it is. K as it is. So multiplication. X into x, x into x, x square. X into minus theta, minus x theta. Next, minus alpha into x, minus x alpha, minus alpha into minus theta. So minus into minus plus. Alpha beta, right? Next, let us add it is right? k into x square as it is here minus x beta minus x alpha. Here take minus x common, we take minus x outside. What is the remainder? Beta plus alpha, right? We take minus x common, minus x common, we get beta plus alpha or alpha plus beta plus alpha into beta as it is. Next, multiplication k with each term, right? So k into first term, k into second term, and k into third term. K into x square, k x square minus k into alpha plus beta into x minus k into alpha plus beta into x and k into alpha beta. Right? K into alpha beta. And now, so compare the coefficient of x square, x and constant term in the above equation. Right? We are comparing the or equating coefficient of x square x sin constant term so in this equation see the above equation the coefficient of x square is lhs a the coefficient of x square is k therefore a equal to k got it coefficient of x square is a the coefficient of x square is k therefore a equal to k or k equal to a next coefficient of x here b the coefficient of x is minus k into alpha plus beta therefore This b equal to minus k into alpha plus beta. Minus k into alpha plus beta. 
and in this equation constant term is say the constant term is k alpha into beta right k alpha beta then here take what is alpha plus beta equal to right alpha plus beta equal to b upon minus k right alpha plus beta equal to b upon minus k therefore alpha plus beta equal to minus b upon k or b upon minus k then again sir k equal to value what is k equal to k right k equal to a therefore alpha plus beta equal to minus b as it is get k equal to a the sum of alpha plus beta equal to or alpha plus beta equal to minus b upon a next here alpha into beta equal to alpha into beta equal to c upon k to take k on lhs form it is divided by k right alpha into beta equal to c upon k alpha into beta equal to c upon k again substitute k value k equal to a therefore alpha beta equal to c upon a alpha beta equal to c upon a this is a sum of zero right sum of zero equal to alpha plus beta because you take the zero the column is alpha plus beta sum of zero equal to alpha plus beta equal to alpha plus beta equal to minus b upon a minus b upon a minus as it is b is nothing but coefficient of x right minus as it is b is nothing but the coefficient of x coefficient of x and a equal to what is a equal to coefficient of x square a is nothing but a coefficient of x square right next product of zero is equal to product of zero is equal to alpha into beta equal to alpha into beta equal to is all c upon a right alpha into beta equal to c upon a what is c in the given polynomial right c is nothing but it is a constant term c means it is a constant term c means it is constant term divided by a a is nothing but it is a coefficient of x square a is nothing but a coefficient of x square this is the quadratic polynomial sum of zeros and product of zero these two formula are important while solving the problems in this exercise right sum of zero equal to minus b upon a or minus coefficient of x and coefficient of x square and product of zero is equal to c upon a c is nothing but constant term and a is nothing but coefficient of x square similarly in cubic polynomial right in cubic polynomial a x cube plus b x square plus c x plus d right this is cubic polynomial a x cube plus b x square plus c x plus d where sum of zero is equal to there are three zero alpha beta gamma right alpha beta gamma alpha plus beta plus gamma equal to minus d by a right we have seen minus as it is b is nothing but coefficient of x square divided by a is nothing but coefficient of x cube a is nothing but this is a coefficient of x cube right a is nothing but here coefficient of x cube i once again see <coughs> alpha plus beta plus gamma equal to minus b by a minus b a minus as it is b means it is coefficient of x square and a means it is coefficient of x cube and the product and sum of zero is equal to alpha beta plus beta gamma plus gamma alpha equal to c by a this is equal to c by a c is nothing but coefficient of x right what it c equal to coefficient of x c equal to coefficient of x a equal to coefficient of x cube this a equal to coefficient of x cube and product alpha beta gamma equal to minus d by a right alpha beta gamma equal to minus d by a so d equal to right it is a constant term d means it is constant term a means it is coefficient of x cube minus as it is constant term upon coefficient of x cube this formula is important when solving the problems right alpha plus beta plus gamma alpha beta plus beta gamma plus gamma alpha and alpha beta gamma equal then the power of this formula is important right for solving the next exercise right next comes to the problem part based on this zeros relationship between zeros and coefficient of polynomial right so first problem find the zeros of a quadratic polynomial right Find the zeros of quadratic polynomial x square plus seven x plus ten. Right? Quadratic polynomial x square plus seven x plus ten. 
and verify the relationship between zeros and coefficients. First, I have to find the zeros of polynomial. Then, I verify the relationship between zeros of polynomial and coefficient of polynomial. First, x equal to very point more probably to zeros of polynomial. Do. The other number x value more to coefficient of polynomial. We will do the relationship and verify more. This is the first. We will take the solution. What is the quadratic polynomial? Given quadratic polynomial x square plus seven x plus ten. This is a given quadratic polynomial, right? We are solving the factorization method, right? We are solving the factorization method. So middle term is splitting into two terms, right? This seven x is splitting two terms, right? The product equal to two numbers. Product equal to ten and sum equal to seven. Such numbers are two y five, right? So multiplication of two numbers equal to ten. The sum of two numbers equal to seven. Such numbers, those numbers are two and seven. Two plus five is seven. Two into five is ten. Right? Minus factorization method we will start. Then I will tell you is seven x is na two x plus five x. So that will come into it. That means so multiplication of those ten na three by two are two numbers. Add of those are seven na three. And the other numbers are what? Only two and two five are there. मलटिप्लिकेशन मारो तेरे दो नंबर इस टाइप की टेन आई बिल्कुल एंड सब मारो तेरे इस टाइप बिल्कुल सावन बिल्कुल सो अगर दो नंबर आया हुआ तो हम बोले टू मत्तू सावन टू प्लस फाइव टू मत्तू फाइव टू प्लस फाइव सावन आ गया था सो टू इनटू फाइव इस टाइप का क्या नहीं है तो देखोगे सो सावन एक्स इन द फॉर्म Take outside plus the last two terms by this form take by outside. What do you get remaining terms? X plus two. There are two factors x plus two. Take in the two terms x plus two common. Take outside x plus two. What is the remaining term? Here x plus five. X plus five. There are two factors x plus two and x plus five. Therefore, here x plus two equal to zero means it is x equal to minus two and x equal to minus five because this term equal to zero. Right? Consider this term equal to zero means it is x plus y equal to zero, then x equal to minus y, and x plus two equal to zero, then x equal to minus. Therefore, x equal to minus two and x equal to minus y are the zeros of a polynomial. Right? X equal to minus two and x equal to minus y are the zeros of a given polynomial, a given quadratic polynomial. Right? Therefore, x square plus seven x plus ten is zero. Right? This polynomial value equal to zero when x equal to minus two and x equal to minus five. The given polynomial value equal to zero when the given polynomial is zero, x equal to minus two and so x equal to minus two and x equal to minus five. X equal to minus two half of the term, so x equal to minus five half of the term. The given polynomial value is what it is, so zero what it is. That means you can get the zeros of a polynomial that is zero. x equal to minus two half का करो इधर value zero बनते ही थे x equal to minus two half का करो इधर value zero बनते थे ये दो value का करो minus two minus five आपको इतना इधर value zero बनते थे zero जब polynomial आगे बढ़ते थे right this value of polynomial equal to zero आगे बढ़ते थे next here alpha equal to इन मत previous term का करो मर जाऊँगा so alpha equal to minus two and beta equal to minus five right alpha equal to minus two both are zero the polynomial alpha and beta right alpha equal to minus two and beta equal to minus five now compare the right so now compare x square given polynomial x square plus seven x plus ten with the standard form of quadratic polynomial a x square plus b x plus c this is the standard form of quadratic polynomial right here coefficient of x square is one here coefficient of x square is a right therefore a equal to 1 coefficient of x a b coefficient of x that means 1 therefore a equal to 1 coefficient of x b their coefficient of x is 7 therefore 7 equal to b or b equal to 7 if constant term is c now we have a constant term c here constant term is 10 therefore c equal to 10 or 10 equal to c we are doing equation na compare mark kore right a b c value na Right? Now sum of the zero equal to right. Sum of zero means alpha plus beta. Right? Sum of zero equal to zero is a polynomial alpha plus beta. Right? 
alpha plus beta alpha plus beta sum of 0 is equal to right sum of 0 is equal to minus 2 plus minus 5 this is equal to minus 7 right i will write minus 7 in the form of minus 7 upon 1 right denominator is always 1 right i will write minus 7 in the form of minus 7 upon 1 so minus as it is what is 7 equal to b is it right minus as it is 7 equal to b and 1 equal to a This is sum of zero is equal to minus coefficient of x that is b and coefficient of x y that is a. Right? This is a sum of zero is equal to right and product of zero is equal to right to zero the alpha and beta alpha into beta so minus two minus five this is equal to ten. Right? Ten in the form of ten upon one. Right? Ten upon one. So ten is equal to c. 10 equal to c and 1 equal to a. 1 equal to a. Therefore, c is nothing but right. C c is nothing but constant term. A a is nothing but coefficient of x square. Constant term upon coefficient of x square. Will c and a like this order? C and a constant term. Will a and a like this only? Coefficient of x square. Right? A and a only coefficient of x square. Therefore, product of zero is equal to zero standard form. Product of zero is equal to constant term upon coefficient of x square. Right? First, you solve the zero to polynomial form. What are the first questions? What are the first? You solve the zero to polynomial alpha and beta. So, if you add them together, so alpha and beta are the coefficient of polynomial. So, compare what are the sum of zeros and product of zero are the proof. What are the sum of zero is equal to proof? What are the two? Minus coefficient of x upon coefficient of x square and product of zero is equal to zero. Proof number three. Constant term upon coefficient of x square. Proof number two. This is the question. First question and second question. Same similar question. Second question. This is the second question. The problem second one is find the zero of a quadratic polynomial. First find the zero of a quadratic polynomial x square minus three and Verify the relationship between zero and coefficient of polynomial. First, we have to find zero of polynomial x equal to one point four two. The other one, the other, what is the relationship between zero of polynomial with coefficient x equal to one point four two? This is the result of the coefficient compare one point four two. Sum of the product of zero and the solve one. Right? So we know that the formula. Right? A square minus b square equal to a minus b into a plus b. A square minus b square formula is a minus b into a plus b. Our question is, our polynomial is x square minus three, right? X square minus three, right? I'll write three in the form of root three whole square. Root three whole square means a is a three, right? Root of three whole square. Square root cancel, we get a and three in the middle. ये three equal to ना तब बर्कोर ना मिले root of three whole square ना तब बर्कोर हो अगर ये ना मिले इस लाइक के ये अंदर x b अंदर ये ना इस तरफ मिले root three आएगा तो right b अंदर ये ना इस तरफ मिले root three अगर रे a minus b a plus b right a minus b and a plus b right and the value of x square minus three is zero जब zero आएगा तो x minus 3 equal to 0 तो तो x equal to root 3 आएगा ठीक है, right? and x plus root 3 equal to 0 then x equal to minus root 3, right? the value of polynomial is 0 when x equal to plus root 3 and one more is minus root 3, got it? value of polynomial यावा 0 आएगा ठीक है, x equal to root 3 आएगा तो तेरा इधर value 0 बन जाता है ठीक है, and x equal to minus root 3 आएगा तो तेरा इधर value 0 बन जाता है ठीक है, therefore these two are the Zero of a polynomial, right? Here alpha equal to plus root three and beta equal to minus root three because alpha and beta 
zero is the polynomial. I'll take this as phi equal to and this is the beta equal to. Now comparing the given polynomial with standard form. Right? Now comparing the given polynomial with standard form. The given polynomial is x square minus 3 with the standard form of quadratic polynomial is ax square plus bx plus c. So comparing these two equations, here coefficient of x square is a, where coefficient of x square is 1, therefore a equal to 1. The coefficient of x is b, coefficient of x is b, here coefficient of x, there is no x terms, right? x terms in the money, b equal to 0. The coefficient of x equal to b, here no x terms, x terms in the money, b equal to 0. And constant term c, here constant term is minus 3, not 3, this constant term is minus 3. A equal to 1, B equal to 0 and C equal to minus 3. And sum of 0 is equal to, right? Sum of 0 is equal to alpha plus beta. Alpha plus beta. Root 3 plus or minus root 3. Both that cancel, we get 0. I'll let 0 is the form of 1 upon 0. So 0 upon any quantity or 0 upon any number equal to 0. However, E 0 is equal to 0 upon 1. 0 upon 1 is also 0. Right? So 0 upon 3 is equal to 0. 0 equal to b, we'll take minus b. Minus b is also same. And a equal here 1 equal to, I'll write 1 equal to a. 1 equal to a. So 0 equal to b and 1 equal to a. Right? Because minus 0 into minus into 0 is again it is a 0. Therefore, I'll write minus b upon a. So minus as it is a b, what is the meaning of b in this equation? B is nothing but coefficient of x. Right? B is nothing but coefficient of x. A is nothing but coefficient of x square minus coefficient of x divided by coefficient of x square minus as it is a b is nothing but coefficient of x b and then I will get coefficient of x I will get e and then I will get coefficient of x square I will get right this is the sum of the zero and product of zero is equal to alpha into beta product of zero is equal to alpha into beta root 3 into minus of root 3 root 3 into minus of root 3 right minus as it is root 3 into root 3 equal to it is a 3 it is like a root a into root a equal to a similarly root 3 into root 3 equal to 3 this minus as it is alright minus 3 I will write in the form of minus 3 upon 1 in the form of minus 3 equal to minus 3 upon 1 on the form of minus 3 equal to minus 3 upon 1 on the form of minus 3 equal to minus 3 upon 1 Minus one, minus three upon one. All right, minus three upon one. So minus three, minus three means c. Minus three equal to c, and one equal to a. Right? Minus three equal to c. Right? Minus three equal to c, and one equal to a. This is c by a. What is c in this polynomial? C means it is constant term. A means it is coefficient of x square. Constant term upon coefficient of x square. Right? constant term upon the coefficient of x square. This is the solution of the problem. Right? Find the zeros of quadratic polynomial means we have to first find zeros of polynomial function. We have to first find zeros of polynomial function. Next, other than we have to find zeros of polynomial function to coefficient of polynomial compare function to sum of zero and product of zeros and find function. Right? Next, move to the next third question. This is the third question. Verify that, right? Verify that 3 minus 1 minus 1 upon 3 are the zeros of cubic polynomial. Min 3 minus 1 minus 1 upon 3 are zeros of cubic polynomial. P of x equal to 3x cube minus 5x square minus 11x minus 3. This is cubic polynomial. And then verify the relationship between zero and coefficients of a polynomial right verify the relationship between zero and coefficient of a polynomial read the question carefully verify this alpha beta gamma are the zero of a cubic polynomial right this is not a quadratic polynomial this is a cubic polynomial let us solve this sir. alpha beta gamma are the cubic polynomial zero of cubic polynomial and then verify the relationship between 
zeros in coefficients. Right? First verify this alpha, beta, gamma. Right? Comparing given polynomial with standard form of cubic polynomial. This is a given polynomial and this is a standard form of cubic polynomial. So now compare it. A means coefficient of x cube a, where coefficient of x cube 3, therefore a equal to 3. x cube coefficient a is here, x cube coefficient 3 therefore 3 equal to a for a equal to 3. And similarly b, coefficient of x square b, there is coefficient of x square minus 5, therefore b equal to minus 5. Coefficient of x c, coefficient of x is minus 11. Uh, c equal to minus 11. Right? And constant term d, their constant term is minus 3. Constant term d, their constant term is minus 3. Right? So comparing these two cubic polynomial, we get a, b, c, and d value. Right? Next verify that. Right? 1, 3, minus 1, minus 1 upon 3 are the zeros of the cubic polynomial. Right? Zeros of cubic polynomial are generally value given polynomial half of the zero bar pandra right three equal to x equal to three at the value zero bar pandra it is zero of the cubic polynomial check one of right three minus or minus one upon three is check one right we'll take first one three substitute x equal to three the given polynomial substitute x equal to three three two x equal to three two three into three two minus five as it is a Again, substitute x equal to 3, 3 square, 3 square minus 11 as it is, minus 11 as it is, and x equal to 3 and minus 3. We control the polynomial x equal to 3 equal. Right? Next, 3 cube 27 into 3, 81. So, 3 square, 9, 9 into 5, 45, minus 45, minus as it is, so 11 into 3, right? Minus 33, minus 3. Simplification, simple, right? So minus 47 minus 33 minus 3. It is totally equal to minus 81. Minus 81 plus 81. Both are cancelled 0. Right? We get P of 3 equal to 0. Therefore, 3 is the 0 of cubic polynomial. And next one is minus 1. Substitute x equal to minus 1 in the given polynomial. Substitute x equal to minus 1. 3 into minus 1 whole cube minus 5 into minus 1 square minus 11 into x equal to minus 1 minus 3 x equal to substitute x equal to minus 1 in this given polynomial 3 into minus 1 whole cube minus 5 into x square means minus 1 square minus 11 into minus 1 minus 11 into minus 1 minus 3 last term is minus 3 minus 1 cube equal to minus 1 right minus 1 is 3 equal to minus 1 minus 1 into it is like a minus 1 into minus 1 into minus 1. So, minus 1 into minus 1 plus 1. Huh? Plus 1 into minus 1, again it is minus 1. So, minus 1 into 3, minus 3. Minus 1 square, it is a plus 1. So, 1 into minus 5, minus 5. So, minus into minus plus, so 11 into 1, 11, minus 3, and it is. So, this is minus 3, minus 5, minus 3, it is a minus 11, huh? it is plus 11. Both are cancelled 0. This is also in that P of minus 1 is also equal to 0. And similarly, we separate x equal to minus 1 upon 3. P of minus 1 upon 3. Right? X is the level of minus 1 upon 3 in the separate mode. A equation mode. Separate x equal to minus 1 upon 3 in the given polynomial. Minus 1 upon 3 whole cube. Minus 4 as it is. X means minus 1 upon 3. Minus 1 upon 3 whole square. Minus 11 as it is, x means minus 1 upon 3. Substitute x equal to minus 1 upon in this given polynomial. The polynomial is substitute number. Right? Next, here 3, 3, 1, 3, 3 get cancelled. We get minus cube. First of all, it is a minus raised to all number means it is minus. Next, so 1 upon 3 square, 9. Next, here minus 1 upon 3 whole square, it is a plus. Plus 1 upon 9 into minus 5. Minus 5 upon 9. And minus into minus plus. So 11 into 1 upon 3 is 11 by 3 minus 3. And simplification we get 0. Or you take LCM method 
and you get the zero, right? Therefore, so P of T is also zero, P of minus one is also zero, and P of minus one upon three is also zero. Therefore, three minus one minus one upon three are zeros of a given polynomial, right? All three terms are zeros of a given polynomial. At the end, zeros of a given polynomial is the polynomial value of a given polynomial is all no, so zero zero one. अगर तो यू मूरु टर्म्स ही थ्री माइनस वन माइनस वन अपन थ्री ना तो ये बोलते हैं जीरो जॉब पे गिवन पॉलिनोमियल आर क्यूबिक पॉलिनोमियल ना चलो नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन भी फेयर है अगेन इसलिए वेरीफाई द रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन जीरो एंड कोइफिशिएंट राइट वेरीफाई द रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन जीरो एंड and gamma equal to minus one point three, right? Cubic polynomial there are three zeros, right? Alpha, beta, gamma. This alpha, beta, gamma. Alpha equal to three, beta equal to minus one, gamma equal to minus one point three, right? The sum of, right? Sum of zero equal to alpha plus beta plus gamma. Alpha plus beta plus gamma. Three minus one minus one point three. So three minus one two minus one point three as it is. Again. Take LCM or cross multiplication. Six minus one, pi upon three. Right? Pi upon three. Right? Pi upon three. Pi equal to. So now comparing. Here pi equal to. Right? This here. Pi upon three. So what is pi equal to? Minus b. B equal to minus pi. Then pi equal to minus b. Pi equal to minus b. Three equal to b. Three equal to a. Therefore, what is b? B is nothing but coefficient of x square, right? Minus as it is there. What is b? In this polynomial, b equal to coefficient of x square, and a a is nothing but coefficient of x cube. Minus coefficient of x square divided by coefficient of x cube. This is sum of zeros. And second, product and sum of zeros equal to. Alpha beta plus beta gamma plus gamma alpha equal to. Let's substitute the value. Alpha equal to three, beta equal to minus one, gamma equal to minus one point three. Alpha into beta plus beta into gamma, gamma equal to minus one point three plus gamma into alpha, gamma into alpha, gamma into alpha. Next simplification. Three into minus one, minus three. Next minus into minus it is plus one by three. Next here. Three three get cancel, right? Three three get cancel. We get minus one. We get minus one. This equal to minus three minus one minus four plus one upon three as it is. Again cross multiplication or by taking LCM. So three into minus four minus four work plus one minus four plus one. It is eleven minus eleven upon three, right? Minus eleven upon three. So minus eleven means it is C, right? Minus eleven means it is C. And three means it is a. Got it? Minus eleven means it is a c. And three means a. This equal to c by a. This equal to c by a. This equal to c by a. C is nothing but coefficient of x, right? And a is nothing but coefficient of x cube. C is nothing but coefficient of x. And a is nothing but coefficient of x. And product of zero, alpha, beta, gamma equal to. Alpha, beta, gamma equal multiply three into minus one into minus one upon three, right? So three three get cancelled. Minus one into minus one plus one. All right, plus one in the form of minus of minus three upon three. See, so minus into minus plus three three get cancelled. One again we get a one. You one by three, you know the group of both will be minus of minus three divided by three. You know the group of three. Minus into minus plus I will take three three get cancelled. Then again one by one. अगर दिस माइनस एड इट इज़ द फर्स्ट माइनस एड इट इज़ द इल माइनस थ्री अंदर ये नहीं देते तो तो मुझे डी वैल्यू आएगी राइट माइनस थ्री इक्वल टू राइट माइनस थ्री इक्वल टू डी राइट माइनस थ्री इक्वल टू डी एंड थ्री इक्वल टू ये अगर माइनस थ्री टाइम इट इज़ इस सब कांस्टेंट टर्म डी मीन्स इट इज़ कांस्ट B means constant term. A means it is coefficient of x cube, right? Minus b by a. Minus n is 
constant term divided by coefficient of x cube. 